Thomas Billington was born on December 5, 1958 in Goulburn, Lancashire, England. Trained by Ted Betley at age 13, he made his debut as a professional wrestler in 1975, at age 16 for promoter Max Crabtree. In 1977, during his tour in the UK, Bruce Hart discovered Dynamite Kid. Blown away by his in-ring ability, he convinced his father, Stu Hart, to bring Kid over to their promotion, Stampede Wrestling, in Calgary. With heel manager J.R. Foley, Dynamite Kid wowed the fans with his no-nonsense, fast-paced wrestling style over the next few years, one of the best matches in Stampede's history being against Bret Hart. Kid started wrestling for New Japan in 1980. It was 1981 where his popularity skyrocketed when he met his greatest in-ring rival, Tiger Mask. From 1981 to 1983, the two dazzled the fans with their fast-paced, innovative styles that have influenced generations of wrestlers. Heavy Boy Smith, who was the first cousin of Dynamite Kid, made his debut in Stampede. The two would start a feud that would extend to New Japan over the NWA World Junior title. They would start working together as a tag team soon after. In 1984, Kid and Davey would leave New Japan and join All Japan, a rival of their previous employer, for promoter Giant Baba. Vince McMahon Jr., as part of his national expansion, buys Stampede Wrestling. As part of the deal, Bret Hart, Jim Needhart, Kid and Davey would join the WWF. However, during this time, Kid and Davey were still touring for All Japan and would join the WWF later on. Now called the British Bulldogs, their first feud were against Bret and Jim, who were now a tag team called the Hart Foundation with manager Jimmy Hart. The four would dazzle the fans with their fast-paced, no-nonsense style they brought over from Stampede, where previously, the fans were only used to the slower-paced style the WWF was known for. The British Bulldogs, now with Captain Lou Albano as their manager, would achieve their biggest success in 1986 at WrestleMania II, where they would win the World Tag Team titles from Greg Valentine and Brutus Beefcake, who were known as the Dream Team, with manager Johnny Valiant. On December 1986, during a tag team match against Don Morocco and Bob Orton Jr., Kidd would suffer a serious back injury that would change the course of his career forever. Because he wasn't able to wrestle while recovering from his back surgery, the British Bulldogs would drop their tag team titles to the Hart Foundation. The title change would happen on January 26, 1987. Less than a month since his back surgery, in excruciating pain, Kid would check himself out of the hospital and showed up for the match that night. His bravery and toughness did not go unnoticed by his peers. However, this was just the beginning of Kid's decline, and it was only going to get worse. Kurt Henning, who was known as Mr. Perfect in the WWF, was one of the best wrestlers of the 1980s. He was also known to be a big prankster as well. The prank he decides to pull off one day against one of the Rougeau brother, Jacques, would set off a chain of events that would ultimately be the downfall for the Dynamite Kid in the WWF. Henning would put several heavy steel locks onto Jacques' briefcase, making it very heavy, and Jacques was unable to take them off. Because the British Bulldogs were known to be big pranksters as well, he believed it was their doing, and told Henning, if the Bulldogs did it again, he will report it to Vince. As still part of the prank, Henning would go on and tell Dynamite Kid what Jacques have told him. Kid, furious over the fact he was going to be ratted out for something he didn't do, went and confronted Jacques by hitting him on the back of his head, surprising him. The two would get into a big altercation which Jacques would lose, but this wasn't the end of it. After the big altercation between Dynamite Kid and Jacques Rougeau, weeks went by, and it seemed things had died down. However, the Rougeau brothers were plotting their revenge. The revenge would be carried out one day, while Kid was chatting with Pat Patterson. As the two were walking out the door, Jocks would blindside Kid with a devastating sucker punch that knocks out most of Kid's front teeth. Jacques kept on his assault until Bad News Brown came in to save Kid. The Rougeau quickly made their getaway. The news would get back to Vince, and he soon called in the British Bulldogs and Rougeau brothers to call a truce, and the Rougeau offered to pay for Kid's dental bill to fix his teeth. Both sides shook hands. However, many of his peers believe this was when Kid's pride and ego has been shattered and he was never the same man again. The British Bulldogs would soon leave the WWF after having their final match at Survivor Series 1988 and return to a familiar ground. The British Bulldogs would return to Stampede Wrestling near the end of 1988. 
they would also begin touring for All Japan Pro Wrestling again for Giant Baba. While Stampede have been bought out by the WWF in 1984, it reopened in 1985 when Vince McMahon Jr. reneged on their deal. Stampede Wrestling was no longer successful as it once was, but they also developed some future Hall of Fame talents such as Brian Pillman, Chris Benoit, and Owen Hart while the Bulldogs were away. Stu Hart would make Dynamite Kid the booker for his promotion, replacing his sons Ross and Bruce Hart. In 1989, the British Bulldogs would feud with a Pakistani-based stable called the Karachi Vice that included Makan Singh, who would later go on as Norman the Lunatic in WCW and Bastion Booger in WWF. Dynamite would also start a singles feud with Johnny Smith and Davy Boy Smith after the British Bulldogs broke up in Stampede. Although they were rivals in Stampede, the British Bulldogs would still continue on as a tag team in Japan throughout 1989. The 1990s would be where Kid's hard lifestyle would finally catch up with him. The British Bulldogs would split up for good due to a real-life fallout between Dynamite Kid and Davy Boy Smith. Davy would later return to the WWF, taking the British Bulldog name with him. In 1991, Johnny Smith would take up Davy's spot as Kid's partner as he continued wrestling for All Japan, now known as the British Bruisers. Kid's personal life would also take a serious hit as his wife would file for a divorce. Kid goes back to his home country, moving in with his parents as a result. With his body broken down from years of drug abuse and injuries in December 6, 1991, after the British Bruisers won their tag match against Johnny Ace and Sunny Beach, Kid would announce his retirement. Even though Dynamite Kid announced his retirement in 1991, he would soon return in 1993 due to his financial issues. He would wrestle for All Japan, teaming up with Johnny Smith once again, and for All Star Wrestling, a promotion based in the UK. Kid's health would continue to get worse due to his drug usages, suffering from seizures, where he was thought to have died twice before being revived by paramedics. His final match was in 1996 for Michinoku Pro in a six-man tag, where he would meet his rival, Tiger Mask, for one last time. In 1997, suffering from debilitating back pain, he would soon learn he will not be able to walk again, putting him in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Also in 1997, he would meet his second wife, Dot, who would take care of him till his death. He would suffer a stroke in 2013 that would further debilitate him, Thomas Billington would pass away on December 5th, 2018 on his 60th birthday.